another new Cindy unboxing and yes I do change my clothes occasionally but I'm doing the videos back to back so I'm not going to change my clothes just for that but obviously I have to sort of alter things in between like I've popped our horsey up here and look she's giving him a love there so the girls are getting on quite well there but we're going to work on who is next now this is if you can see it it is sweet treats and she is obviously blurry because of the light but she's this gorgeous girl with the purple hair so again a little bit against tradition there we didn't really get them with colored hair but a lot of people who do uh, sort of alter their dolls that who act the one of a kind type dolls there's a lot of hair colors out there and again they use going for like a slightly more modern vibe rather than i mean i suppose when i was a little girl cindy wouldn't have had different color hair because people didn't really do that whereas now people dye their hair all sorts of colors uh, I know I've been there, done that, but I just keep to the brown now. So it's easier that way, but I still have to do a little bit of work occasionally. So we're going to have a look at this sweet treat in a second. We're going to go top down, so I'm slowly working through them. Um, so yes, I will be wearing the same outfit probably on the next video, but then I might give it a break before I do the next ones from there. So we're having a look. I know there's a lot of excitement about the dolls. Everyone seems to be really happy about them. It's yay! And because it looks like we're going to be getting clothing as well, which I know there was only a hint in the little book, but you never know. We might be getting them soon. Let's just hope it is again pre-Christmas because what fabulous Christmas presents will they make for both children and adults alike? Um, because I know sometimes other my family are never stuck what to buy for me because I like so many different things. But sometimes if someone's got a hobby, it's a great thing to be able to buy for them. Um, so yeah, my, my family are used to me. They go, okay, yeah, she wants a doll, whatever. So it's quite good in that respect. For me, I am lucky. I do know that can be an issue for some people out there. And that's a little bit sad. If you enjoy doing what you do, keep doing it. As long as you're not hurting anybody else. That is usually what I say. If, if something was going to hurt someone else, that's a different matter altogether. But if you like collecting your dolls or trains or any other hobbies that you might have again as long as they're not hurting anyone you keep going that is what it's about it does help mental health as well so it's a great thing to do my crochet i know is a massive thing to a lot of people uh within the crochet world for things like that and i know for my own self it has it I can't even speak now it has been something that has helped it is really a good thing to have it's a nice hobby so but we're going to have a look at this gorgeous girl so again i'm going to be going top down i have to keep moving the camera around i really one day need to work out how to get a, a proper camera does that make sense i've not really got proper facilities it's mainly just on my phone so it's a little bit of a bodge setup so that you can see me so we're gonna do this one next i don't know i might do one more I what should I do? I don't know. I'm saying that. I'm asking you, but I'm going to do it before you can comment. So that's not really going to help anybody, is it? Um, mm, I think I might go for the ballerina, you know, um, because I know she is one of the more popular ones, but we're going to do sweet treats first. So I will see you in a second, top down, to have a closer look at this gorgeous girl. There she is, Sweet Treats Bakery Playset. So again, we've got a little bit of information. As it said, it includes crafts 3+, plus, which I think most of us know for most dolls are. And it says, make these accessories for your bakery. I love the little signs, the little boxes for the cakes and things. As I say, I know, um, I know my, oh, my granddaughter's six, and I know things like this. She'd be like, oh my God, it's so amazing. She would love it. So this time it says, make yourself proud. There's lots of sort of positive vibes with the dolls, which I think is lovely. Uh, I think particularly nowadays, because I think even from an early age, some children are now, I think particularly saying that I'm an Instagram user myself, as in for the doll things. But I do think things like that and social media are putting a lot of pressure on the younger ones. And it's nice just to have something nice. It's nice to be nice. It's as simple as that. Oh, look, there's a picture over there with a little apron and everything. Cindy comes with an apron, sweet treats to serve in her bakery. Ah. I love that idea. I know uh, for my 12th scale, I have a little tea room and I love all the little cakes that you can put in it and things like that. So it is one of my favourite areas. It's nothing to do with the fact that I like eating cakes. Of course I like eating cakes. Oh, birthday cake later. Not mine, my grandson's. Although he told me this morning, he's only three. 
Um, and I says, can I have, a, have some cake this afternoon? And he went, no. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm sure Nana will be having a bit of cake this afternoon. Oh, I don't know. I've pulled that a little bit hard. Can you see what I've done? So be careful when you take that off. Maybe I would have been better off just cutting it. Now, this is in a smaller box, so it's going to be easier for me to sort of show you. Again, there's these round tapes. I think perhaps cut in if you can, but please be careful. Don't be doing it sort of where I'm doing it with a pair of scissors. That is a little bit haphazard, but... Uh, it's quicker and easier to show you guys if I do that way. Again, we have these little pogs here so we can just push it open like that. We don't need scissors now because thankfully there's no little silly tags holding the dolls in place. So we can get in. Okay, bit of plastic. But at least there's no plastic beyond that. We'll have a look in a second. So this is the little room because I think that looks really good. It's a little post box there. So it does look like this is her shop. So I, I quite like this one because it's smaller as well. And obviously for the horse, we needed something larger because the horse was larger. But I think this is really cute. Oh, there's definitely got to be photos of these. A uh, little bit of information. The menu's there. So we've even got the wallpaper and a little thing for keys. So this is one that comes out because it says craft cutouts on the reverse. So here are the bits and pieces. This is the counter and we have her shop sign and there's yet more. I love the little idea of the cake box and a little cake stand and plates. That is so cool. And I also like that it's not just on one side. You turn it over and like that, that's the inside of the cake box. That's still got a detail, the fact that they've sort of coloured the inside rather than just making it a piece of cardboard so it looks from every angle that it is the actual item so I think that is great obviously a little Cindy logo pop that one there and then inside let's move that over there again you could if you don't want to cut out the reverse we could does that fit in there we could do it in there so you could do it like that and it looks like she's got a full shop i just noticed something else at the bottom oh that's part of the cutout we've got even flooring details and even lighting details each video i'm doing i'm noticing more and more so i'm probably missing off a lot from my first one but each time i do a video i go oh and oh and oh so we see other things love the accessories on this one and i love the idea of this Again, I would have a tendency maybe to use this. It's only really a copy of that, but it just makes a shop look a little bit bigger if you're wanting to make it look like a shop. The only thing is, it's whether you need the counter. I don't know. I'm in an R in on that one. I will have to have a think. Let's get on to the main event. Here she is. And hopefully if she's like the rest, it's just a case of... Oh, a case of a little bit of sellotape. I'm going to try and just pull it, but there's a little bit of sellotape there. But that's it. That's simple enough. And it just comes out like that. I'm going to have a lot of recycling to do. Um, although saying that the boxes aren't necessarily going to be recycled because we're going to be using them. And there she goes. She comes out nice. Again, not attached to anything. So this cute little apron. We have a little book again. And let's have a look at these accessories. What have we got? got a little drink there with a strawberry in it another i think would that be a drink but with maybe cream on top some sort of sundae of some sort what else have we got Wait, a little ice cream with a spoon stuck in it it doesn't have to be ice cream so it's going to be a cake of some sort now this one doesn't want to come out let's push it out donut and on the other side, it is actually got like a little bit of maybe chocolate frosting. We could argue it's on, oh no, maybe a caramel frosting because it's almost the same colour as our donut. So that's quite cool. And then she's got one, two, and three little cupcakes. So we're going to move the plastic so it's making a noise. Over it goes. Good job the dog's not in here because I'm just throwing it all off the dog bed. I've got to clear it all because she'll want to come back in here uh, when I finish. So we have some gorgeous little accessories. So if you've done like a, a little table, a cake stand and things, you can pop these on and they will be sort of there um, for her to sell in her lovely little shop. Now we have a little booklet as well, same as last time. But this time obviously it says Cindy Sweet Treats. And we have, you've got this this Cindy doll belongs to that's quite nice it's always nice to do that and we've got a little bit about the crafting we've got colorings drawing challenges quizzes again a little sneak peek on the new outfits and just general information on the other dolls 
and I know I mentioned how much I love these little books they're just so cute so I'm going to pop them in there in fact we'll pop those in there as well because I don't want them flying around everywhere the little apron came separate that is so nicely made again it's not just a little flat piece of fabric I know Barbie's been criticized a little bit recently for the basic Barbie for this because that would have just been just a flat piece of fabric but this isn't this is double fabric it is all stitched it has this little frill on which is nice it has a little bit of velcro to fasten it around her waist and obviously it says sweet treats bakery because that's her bakery now we will snip this off there is a little bit of elastic there because always be careful with that i know again i saw someone comment they're always nervous about cutting when i know these don't have the tags in but when you get those tags in the back of the head because you're scared of cutting the hair off i've done it i've cut hair off before now and it's really frustrating thankfully not too much so she has these gorgeous purple locks and again they are so so soft no product nothing disgusting and nasty to hold so it's all good we have again a good head of hair let's have a look if we can see in there properly yep she's got a purple head obviously to match her hair color in case there were gaps but as it turns out there's not so it's not too bad this little bit is pinned back so basically it's pulled back they've just ponytailed it and then it's gone into the long ponytail so if you're wanting to take her hair out this would all sort of drop forward and she'd have a lot of hair i have a tendency not to um because i also have a tendency not to have a lot of time to sort of spend on doing the hair so i incline to sort of keep them as their original style but it is lovely it's so soft so 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 soft now this little girl has brown eyes and I would say her skin tone is darker. Let's grab one of the others. I mean she's there's certainly a difference with the dolls. We'll get our red head. So obviously sort of redheads are usually fairer, so she is fairer. Um and then we're gonna get my gorgeous first girl, my blogger. Although I did say vlogger, didn't I? But no, she's a blogger. And you can see we have three different skin tones here. So, yay, Cindy, this is what we need to see, a little bit of diversity. Um, I know it must be very hard within the doll world to get that because, it, you know, it's it's down to manufacture, isn't it? Sort of the colourings and things like that. I'm just turning around popping the dolls back. So I'll just pop her. I'll just lie her down there, I think. But I don't know whether you'll be able to see the others sort of later. I don't know whether you could see them in the video. But again, we've got... Um, they're quite fair skinned one's a little bit darker than the others but it's nice to see that there is differences in colors so you know dolls are at last getting diversity and i think that's the same with any of the dolls that are in the doll world now there is this diversity is starting to appear she has this very cute little dress on which has got this little little net lining over a little bow this is stitched it is beautifully stitched obviously cindy label there velcro on the back and I mentioned before, again, if you do want to see sort of more body types, you'll need to see my first video with our blogger. Um, and that will give you some body type sort of ideas. But you can sort of see, because the others have trousers on, we couldn't really see. But now you can see where the knees go. Can you see? We've got that bend on the knee, which is quite a nice bend. So you can see that properly. She's got some little trainers, which are very practical. I think, 100%, I think they're a pale, pale lilac. They're not white um but they're practical for the shop because you don't want to sort of be walking around in a pair of heels do you in a shop um so I say she's very very cute paler sort of well she's got quite bright lipstick i'm just going to say paler but it's more of a matte sort of lipstick again i like that they're all different in that respect um yeah, she's a very cute pose there pop her little feet pointing in and her little arms sticking out like that so we'll pop her apron on did i rock the camera then i did so around the waist and just a little bit of velcro the clothes are really easy to get on and off but again even that can you see sometimes you get really rough edges i don't know how they get the fabric like that i'd love to know you know without fraying that'd be brilliant but yeah it's, it's it is it's not very that's an angle for her is it um but it is all can you see it's all hands it is hand stitched of course it's not hand stitched it's all nicely and neatly stitched into place so i think she's an absolute cutie i love obviously this one's uh, oh i'm gonna say about prices now you need to check on the site i think this was a 20 pound one 
Um, the ones that have got less accessories are, appro are approximately £20. I don't know whether they're going to be different than Sainsbury's things like that because I have not seen them there. Um, but the ones that have got more accessories have more. The horse obviously being the most expensive out of the group. But obviously she has... Just stop saying the word obviously. I don't, um, I don't really even notice, but I don't edit my videos. Um, I, you, you get as I speak. Um, because I, I believe that's better. I think it's nicer to sort of see people's errors as well sometimes. And here we go then. We have our Sweet Treats cutie with all her little accessories ready to sell. These again, great for photo ops. She has a little book. Obviously, her little extra was her apron. But again, I don't know what else to say. She is lovely. These dolls are such great quality for their price. And I can say that, yes, obviously, I love Cindy. I am a Cindy collector. She was my main doll when I was a little girl. But I have a lot of other types of dolls. So I do collect quite a variety. So I do have that sort of opportunity to compare and whether I think they are good quality or not. And I think they are good quality. Obviously, if you you got one, I think somebody put one on Facebook and some of the hair plugs here there was no hair in them if that happens that's clearly an error in manufacture and i'm sure it's a case of just taking it back and saying unfortunately this product is faulty can i have another one um i know obviously if we're sort of a little bit short on the uh, sort of quantities that might be difficult or if you do have a sort of quite severe problem or something that's sort of really upsetting you maybe contact direct I don't know. I've not tried that, so I don't know how that works. But I'm sure, like with any product you buy, if there's a problem, they will replace it. But up to now, I've had no problems. It's all been absolutely perfect. And I say I'm over the... Oh, nearly lost some... Uh, nearly lost your Sunday there. But I'm really, 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 can I say really any more times pleased with these dolls up to now but we do have a few more to open so hopefully i haven't got any problems there uh, again thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying these i know a lot of you have already got them which is really exciting i'm seeing so many things on facebook and i know i mentioned on the last video i know there's a few people a little bit sad because they can't they're not selling out of the country at the moment but i would like to think if there's enough of you that are wanting it it would be mad not to sell out of the country, wouldn't it? So I'm hoping that they are going to be listening to what people are saying and then maybe offer it up through a website or whatever. I don't know. Obviously, marketing's uh, a little bit more complicated than us just sort of asking for things. They have to do a lot of work to get around it. But fingers crossed, because we want Cindy around the world, because that is how she's going to get known. Not just in the UK. She needs to be around the world so other people can see how beautiful she is. Once again, then, I think I've already said this. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share if you enjoy my videos. And don't forget to click on that notification bell, which is somewhere down there. And it'll let you know when the next video is up. So thank you for now. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye bye.